Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Casey from Overlanding336. Um, gonna do a gonna do an overview on the rooftop tent uh, from Free Spirit Recreation. Um, <clears throat> a really good company, a little pricey, but for as fast as this thing goes up and comes down, I really think it's worth the money. Um, there's only a couple of flaws in it that I have found. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that now with you, <clears throat> over the, the whole thing. Um, unfortunately, my GoPro is not acting properly, so technical difficulties. I don't have a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a tripod either, and I don't have a, another person here with me. So what I'm gonna do is just do this from my point of view. Unfortunately, you'll have to look at it that way. Um, so without further ado, let's just first go walk around, flip the camera. All right, <clears throat> so as you see, it's a pretty low profile. And as you see, one thing I, one thing I don't like about it, <clears throat> you see, there's not a lot of room. I know that's going in and out of focus, shit. But <clears throat> the thing of it is, I had to take these, <clears throat> these right here are worth what it's supposed to sit on. Okay, but it wouldn't work with these rails on my rack and go and clear the cab. So I had to get these and just completely rig it up, for lack of better words. And uh, anyways, I'm not happy with that because I feel a little unsafe with that. And also, um, it puts my tent system about almost three inches higher than I want it. And if that were the case and it was down flush i could get in the garage which would be nice but anyways i digress it's a jeep okay so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and do a little walk around okay um the lights that you see here did not come on it i put those on there and as you can see they're not perfect by any means um <clears throat> you have two latches on each side also more lights do not come on it i put those on there as well but they do have these nice things that you can do you can take these off and you can put lights in here or up here i don't know why you'd put them up there though because the tent has to go up but anyways um <clears throat> it works and so now i have rear lights for the kitchen area back here and <clears throat> side lights um and this right here is super bright so whenever i have to get my tracks uh, i can easily get to that and see so what i'm gonna do is come on over here and like i said there's two on each side so what i'm gonna do is i'd use my step here and i just grab the gutter and pull myself up and i go ahead and pop this one like that so and just make my way around and i mean you know most of your other ones your clamshells i call them that go out to the side they don't really undo this easy in my opinion from what i've seen okay so now it's all technically undone and can go up but here's where it kind of sucks. I wish there was uh, something you could do from down here because if you do this, you can push it really hard and get it. That takes a little effort. Like I said, I'm about on a good day 5'9". But when you go to the back side, yeah, yeah, I don't have enough in me. So I have to jump on a tire and get it so without further ado jump on the tire walk across the tire and then lift it here when i do that i just grab this strap leave it hanging off because that's how you're gonna start pulling it back now when you're done now another great thing about free spirit recreations tent <clears throat> You get an awning that hangs over a little, which is awesome. Um, you do get shoe storage for your wet muddy shoes. If you have that going on. Yeah, mine's on my shovel, I know. 
Okay, so these ladder spots I don't like. That's what I don't like. They're very flex. And this is a cold month. I'm wondering what this is going to do in the summer. They were down here, and I had my other stuff rearranged. But I wanted it to be under, uh, 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 even with a tire, so to speak. If I had to use a tire for a stool, a step, I could. Um, so we're going to go ahead and grab the ladder, which is inside the tent. Okay, so there's a plus and minus. Sorry, let me look at myself. There's a plus and minus to this. You can keep the ladder in there and the sleeping bag and your pillows and an electric blanket. I keep all that in there. And that's awesome. So you don't have to keep that anywhere else, which is great. But when you want the ladder, then you have to go climb up like you did on the other side and grab the ladder, pull it out, set it up, yada, yada. Um, if you just put the ladder in the back of the Jeep, that'd be great. But unfortunately, I work at a place where there are a bunch of crackheads. And um, I don't know what they'd use a ladder for, but they might think that they could sell it and get money. So anyways, that's why I have cable locks on my axe and shovel and yeah. <clears throat> All right, so anyways, enough about that. I'm gonna go ahead and hop up here and grab the ladder. And hopefully I can do this without breaking my neck. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we get in here, it's gonna be a little dark. Um, I keep the ladder, which it is a telescoper. Telescoping. Telescoper. I think I just made a new word. Uh, I keep it inside this bag because it has dirt on it. And as you see here, I have an electric blanket and I have a two person, 20 degree bag. And then it does come with this mat. Now, I've slept on this mat one time. It is not comfortable. Free spirit, you guys have to do something about your mats. They need to be either A, a thicker memory foam, or B, something different. I am just, I'm sorry, but they're not good. All right, but with that, I'm gonna shut up on the complaining and grab the ladder, which I'll start complaining again, but hold on a minute. So I didn't record that part. Um, <clears throat> basically in the tent, I took the bag off of the, the ladder and the ladder is here, as you see, beside the Jeep. So I kind of just toss it down and let it hit. Okay, so, um, probably not rocket science to most of you people in the overlanding community. But, um, sorry, I'm doing this one-handed and upside down. All right, so... Okay, trying to get this as it says per the directions of Free Spirit. All right, so I have this in there where it uh, should be as far as um, even evenness goes. To look at the camera. Sorry about that. No, you didn't want to see that. So. I know there's not much you can do about this, but I really hate this stupid little double step, different kind of size step. Um, this is only about eh, a foot maybe away. And I think it's supposed to be about a foot, foot and a half, something like that. So, kick the stupid strap through there so it doesn't catch my feet. All right. So now this is planted firmly on the ground and it is up there. That is a bit of an angle for me. I'd rather the ladder be straight up and down, but they say not to do it that way. It, uh, where's it at? Here it is. So if it's four feet high, it's supposed to be a quarter off, which is one foot. So that is about six feet. So I'm not a mathematician, but I'm gonna say probably about I don't know 16 to 18 inches move dog so that's probably more like 
24 so yeah let's put it right there all right so here's the thing let's watch these and watch what it does when i go up it'll probably bend and if not okay it's good it's doing good the ladder feels like it's bowing quite a bit by the way i weigh 190 the ladder says it can hold up to uh, 155 kilograms which i think is roughly 315 I'm, again i'm not great at math but this right here it, it's down here the ladder system sits in there and, and goes way up here so i think these things should come up quite a bit more i don't like that and again because of uh here's that thing i was telling you in regards to this i have it sitting up on this and i really don't like the looks of this <laughs> the way it's sitting knock on wood it hasn't killed me yet all right so let's go ahead and go up on in here if i can do this hope to god it all works see there it is is that here's that weird step i'm only doing a teeny tiny little step and it doesn't feel right and there is a slight bow in the ladder i just feel like the ladder <laughs> sorry i'm climbing in i just feel like the ladder should be possibly steel like real steel like solid steel okay let me hang on just a second all right guys back with you here um yeah so this is the tent Ugh. sorry got the sun in my eye here so, as you can see, if I, <laughs> if I get over to this side, and I know it looks, oh, I'm gonna, let me get my head down here so it's below the tent line. Whoops. Like I said, I'm 5'9", so if you're, if you're six feet, this is probably not going to work for you. But I don't have a pillow in here right now, sorry. So I usually just use my coat whenever I'm out. Um, but anywho, this is me laying here. And I'm. this is how I would sleep. And this is the room I have to the other side. So if I hold it all the way over there as far as I can. Sorry, my uh, USB power things in here so i mean i've got a, a pretty large amount of room in this thing and um it does have it does have these awesome windows which allow for ventilation and it'll keep the bugs out which is nice or if it's uh, a bugless place, if that exists, you can just go straight through, which is really nice. and get a nice breeze coming through here on a hot day. I'm still waiting for those. <laughs> I camped once and it was 20 some degrees and it was retarded. <laughs> and uh, I kind of forgot that you have to crack a window so you don't get condensation. Uh, it also does open in the back, and uh, it is a really, really nice window. Most of your tents, rooftop tents, do not have a back window that is that large. And then, if you can turn your fat butt around like me, you got this. There's your front. And then turn to your back. I mean, it's it's awesome. I'm extremely happy with this tent. And then I got the side windows. And also, 
if it's really hot, you can just take all those down and let me see if I can get this in the picture. You got the you got this, which is a ventilation which carries the wind up and out. And if it's cold, you just seal it right back off. So these guys really thought of it all pretty much. Um, okay, so the pros, the setup and takedown is amazing. Um, <clears throat> the uh, room in it is great for me. Um, myself and one other person, I'm all good. Um, I set up some LEDs on it uh, here that go overhead and light it up for camp night. You get uh, a bag here and a bag here, and you can move those on the, it's like a slit, slide thing. And then you get a couple of bags here. They give you this USB cable coming out of this uh, strip of lights. And um, I got a power bar thingy and just put it in there. So that's cool. I'm trying to do this behind my back because I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, again, the uh, pros of this, I would say again, easy setup, easy takedown. Uh, I like the awning quite a bit because if you get up in the morning and it's raining like crazy. Um, right now what I'm doing is I put a 10 by 10 um, shelter shortly out in front of my steps. So if it's raining, I can just go down and step right under the shelter. And I barely even get wet. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, it's got these little things up under here. They're uh, for ventilation. Although they did not work very good for that condensation. We, we got condensation pretty bad when it was that cold that night. Um, the sides of the tent got kind of wet, kind of damp. Didn't like that shit. Poor my language. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, and it's a low profile. I like that. I like the finish of it. I like the mounting, um, tabs that go all the way around. Now, a quick one, uh, because I got to get this video to shut up. Um, cons. I do not like the ladder very much. Um... I think it's a poor design. I mean, it's a telescoping ladder, but I think that either A, that it's a, it's a weak aluminum, or maybe B, it's just the way that it hooks into this thing here. I don't, it seems like they would have right here some kind of, uh, sorry, I don't know if you can see this. Hold on a minute, there we go. Instead of down here, it seems like they would have something that hooked here around this like steel and but anyways whatever I, I mean if that's all i can find to complain about that and then the mounting system just doesn't work but technically that is i have the go rhino rack and um the system i've got i i if i had uh, different bars on top of it it would work differently i'm sure i could probably um mock up some sort of uh blocks and measure it out and it would sit a little bit lower and it would be in my opinion a little bit stronger um <clears throat> if anybody out there has got ideas on that just let me know um and if you've got any suggestions or anything for videos or whatnot let me know uh this coming weekend um i'm gonna be Heading out um, to the 105, North Carolina 105, Lamble Gorge area. All right, uh, that's all I got. Now, this video is going to have to be cut up, so this is 20 minutes. Uh, this is Casey with Overlanding 336. Have a good day.